Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents with God's Church of Love. I notice it's going to sound crazy, but even though I had the service on record, nothing got recorded. So I'm going to summarize, since we have church service every Saturday, I'm going to try to summarize everything the Lord gave me to speak about. Wow, this is crazy. I can't believe that happened. That's the first time that ever happened where it did not record anything, even though the record button was on. Okay, so just to share quickly. A lot of times we don't really know who God is. We don't know who our Savior is. And he is able to do the impossible. He is our counselor. He is our friend. He is our great physician. He is our healer. He is the one that goes in front of us, makes the crooked places straight and the rough places smooth. He's the one who smooths out all the rough edges in our lives. He brings peace where there's chaos. He brings understanding when there's confusion. I love how God looks after us and takes care of us. And what I want to say to you is believe him for the impossible, y'all. If you recognize that he is a man of facets, he is multifaceted, he is all faceted, he's got facets that we can't even imagine. Why? Because he is God. He is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He is our Father in heaven. He is our Savior, and he is the one who empowers us on the inner man. He strengthens us on the inner man. So know who he is in your life. And don't let any prayer request, don't let anything that you desire feel limited because of you. Don't focus on you. Don't focus on the circumstances. Don't focus on the people involved. Know that God is above all. He can do all. There is nothing he cannot do. There's nothing he cannot accomplish. And you have to remember that there are key components to your prayers being answered. So don't be afraid to ask because the Bible says you have not because you ask not. Get in the habit of asking here. He wants to hear from you. Please. There's a song that says, I miss my time with you. That's God speaking. Those moments together. I need to be with you each day. Day. And it hurts me when you say you're too busy, busy trying to serve me. But how can you serve me when your spirit's empty? There's a longing in my heart, wanting more than just a part of you. It's true. I miss my time with you. I miss my time with you. So, now that you know he wants to be with you, spend more time with him. Pour your heart out to him, as Psalm says. Pour your heart out to him. Let him know what's working, what's not working, what you understand, what you don't understand, what's got you befuddled, what lifts up your spirits, what depresses you. Let him know all of it. Let him know your besetting sins. Pour it out. He already knows. It's in our communing with him that brings us closer together. Do you hear me? You want to be able to hear his voice. He says his children hear his voice. And his voice is not just that audible voice that we all long to hear. His voice is those moments of epiphany, those moments of revelation, those split second uh, ideas that come to us straight from heaven that would take 15, 20 minutes to speak but only two or three seconds to bring down into us, straight from heaven, direct deposit from God himself. He knows how to communicate with us, but he needs us to communicate with him. You hear me? Because the sky is the limit. There are no limits with God. So you have to pray as if there are no limits. Pray big, believe big, see big, imagine big. As Ephesians says, he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us. So believe, y'all, and know that in your believing, that one thing God really requires besides faith is that we forgive. 
in order to stay in the realm of his mercy, in the realm of his grace, we have to operate out of his ability to forgive, which means you may not be able to forgive. You may not be able to, you may not want to forgive, but know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above. So knowing that he can do all of that, ask him to give you the ability to forgive. Ask him to give you the desire to forgive. And guess what? You will receive. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and that door shall be opened unto you. Believe. Whatever you do, believe and recognize. Uh, I would say explore in the Bible all of the facets of God's heart. And that will strengthen your faith. That alone will strengthen your ability to believe that God is able to do the impossible. Amen. God bless you. Sorry for the message being so short, but I already preached it for about 40 minutes and I'm tired. So that's a quick rundown of what we talked about in service. And let me add this. For those of you who have been blessed by this ministry down through the years, I don't get a salary like the average pastor does. There are pastors who just have services online and they take up an offering every single week. They pause for the cause. I don't even do that. So I'm asking you, if you bless me, you're blessing a widow, and that's a special part in God's heart, and you're blessing a minister. So consider that when, if you decide that this message, that the this ministry over the last two, three, four to eight years has been a blessing to you at any given time, please consider sowing into this ministry. Please. Thank you. God bless you.